Hello, this is Chetan Narula reporting for Cricket World and my current pit stop is Colombo, which is the venue for the second test match between India and Sri Lanka and I'm at the SSC ground, the Sinhalese uh, sports club in Colombo and uh, well, it's a beautiful ground, the venue of India's triumph here in 2015. Cheteshwar Pujara scored 145 not out in the first innings on a green top wicket after after India had won the uh, after India had lost the first test, won the second test, it all came down to the last test in SSC. And uh, thanks to a hundred and a brilliant team performance, India won their first series in Sri Lanka by 2-1 in uh, 22 years. And now two years later, Chiteshwar Pujara returns here to the SSC and will be playing his uh, 50th test match in his uh, international career. Let's talk about the test match, how the setting is. Obviously, the India have won the first test uh, this time around in this three-match series. They won the first test in goal within four days by 304 runs. Sri Lanka were pretty depleted over there. Uh, they missed uh, Asela Gunaratne, who was injured on the first day and did not take part in the test match. He's been ruled out of the entire series. Then Rangana Herath also didn't bat in the second innings. Uh, he, he, he injured his left hand while fielding. And of course, their test skipper Dinesh Chandimal was uh, totally missing from the test match because of a bout of pneumonia. So in that sense, there's a bit of a good news for Sri Lanka that Rangana Herath is fit. He will be playing in this match and Dinesh Chandimal is back as the test skipper. Uh, he's recovered from uh, pneumonia and he will be participating. Obviously, he'll be using an inhaler to participate in this match, but he's got permission from the ICC to be able to do that. And uh, there have been other changes that have been called up to the Sri Lankan squad. We have Lahiru Tiradamane, who last played test cricket for Sri Lanka in 2016. He's back into the side, adds a bit more weight to the middle order. And uh, they've also uh, brought up Lakshan Sandakan, who is uh, the left arm wrist spinner or a Chinaman as uh, the term is used. So Sri Lanka, you know, just propping up their spin bowlers, the spin options. They could go in with three spinners, although the pitch, which is just straight behind me, it has a sprinkling of grass. Last time around, it was a really good green top with, with the good bounce and good movement for the seamers. This time, it seems like the grass is uh, just a bit of sprinkling to hold the good surface together. There should be good bounce. But will there be as much movement like it there was on day one in 2015? Uh, that, that remains uh, a bit doubtful. For India, the news is that uh, KL Rahul is fit. He's recovered from his viral fever and he will be back and included in the playing 11. Virat Kohli almost confirmed that in the press conference, which means that uh, either Shikhar Dhawan or uh, Abhinav Mukund will make way for him. And uh, it has to be Abhinav Mukund, you know, when we, we asked uh, in the press conference to Virat that, you know, what he looks at, the factors really uh, in, in deciding this. Uh, because Shikhar Dhawan was not in the original squad, he was back up to Murli Vijay, while Abhinav Mukund was the first choice backup opener. But Virat Kohli said that, you know, it is about the impact because uh, Shikhar Dhawan scored 190 in the first innings, 80 yard from Mukund in the second innings. It's more about the impact said the Indian captain and uh, you can just assume that Shikhar Dhawan being the impact player can change the game around in one one and a half sessions and uh, he is the ideal open up opening partner they're looking for uh, KL Rahul to open with in this second test match. About, apart from that India shouldn't really have too many changes in their playing 11 uh, a bit of a green top uh, with a good bounce and good uh, Good, good uh, runs in it for the batsmen. So Ashwin and Jareja combining and Shami and Umesh as well. Bit of a reverse swing coming in with Hardik Pandya set to play his second test match. So not too many changes for India. Maybe just the one at the top, uh, the KL Rahul coming in. Quite a few changes for Sri Lanka. They are back to full strength, if we can really put it. But still, the gulf between the two sides is, is a big one. Number one versus number seven. Can Sri Lanka, you know, just uh, scale this cap? and give India a run for their money or can India wrap up the series here at the SSC. I'll be back with more updates as the second test continues.